Hi guys, welcome back. So my husband took a DNA test for four major DNA companies. They are Ancestry.com, Living DNA, MyHeritage, and 23andMe. So in this video, we'll be doing a quick overview of what these companies offer, um, what the DNA test results are, pretty much, and help you do a side-by-side -side comparison of what the DNA tests are, how you take them, how much we paid for them, how long it took to get our test results back, and what they offer as test results. So it can help you guys figure out which company you like or what company would best suit your wants and needs. I have done a more in-depth video for each of the four companies. So if you actually like a company or you want to learn more about what the company offers, I suggest you watch those videos. I will leave a link in the description box below for each one of those videos. So I guess let's get started. Ancestry.com So Ancestry.com, um, you have to have a subscription for. I already have a subscription with them and I have played on their family tree and have looked through their data sources to find such things as census or birth records, immigration records, and I really, really love their source center. They have so, uh, an amazing source center where I can find uh, information or documents about my ancestors that no other company has. So I was really excited to do a DNA test with this company because I have loved going through the data center looking for sources and their family tree. Ancestry actually offers for them to connect the DNA kit to somebody on your family tree. I actually suggest this because if you don't, then you don't get the full test results. You only get partial test results. Um, and we'll kind of go over that more later on. So their DNA test is actually a spit take DNA test. And I find these ones really gross. So what it is, is a little tube or a vial that has a line on it. And you need to fill it up with your spit to that line. It's really gross in my opinion. <laughs> Um, so once you do that, you just close the little vial off, you put it in the little box, the little return box they send with your DNA kit, and you ship it back to the company. And then six weeks later, we, our test results were in. If this could be more or less for you guys. They say it's six to eight weeks for this company. Ours was exactly six weeks, so sweet. So Ancestry has three main things they do with your DNA test results. The first one is your DNA story, which is actually your ethnicity estimate. Next is what it's, they call DNA matches. Um, other companies call it like DNA relatives, but they call it DNA matches here on Ancestry. Next is DNA circle. This is a hard one that had a hard time grasping, but I kind of understand it now. So DNA matches and DNA circles are pretty similar. They help you find relatives or people who have, um, or where you and somebody else share similar DNA or DNA segments. Um, just, they do it a little differently. DNA matches shows you a list of people who share similar DNA as you, and then they say, oh, this person's possibly your first cousin or your second cousin or your second cousin once removed, or your fifth cousin twice removed. Um, and then you can click on them and see what ancestors you guys have in common. So your DNA circle is where it lists your ancestors. So you can click on an ancestor and it will show you their descendants who have done a DNA test with ancestry. And you can compare how much DNA you share with them um, by these little lines. The thicker the line is, the more DNA you share. The, the smaller the line you share with them, the less DNA you share with that person or family group. I don't necessarily like these DNA circles. To me, it's a very complicated way of showing you, showing you who your DNA cousins are and how you're related to them and then how much DNA you share with them. But it is kind of cool that they do them in family groups. Like you can have a whole family group connect together and 
view your DNA with a family group and you can contact a whole family group instead of individuals like you would have to on other DNA companies. Um, but I just don't like the family groups at the same time because obviously I'm going to share more DNA with a bunch of people than with a single individual. So kind of a complicated system and I kind of don't understand it, but but whatever, that's just my opinion. It actually, you guys may understand it more than I do. The next section they offer is what they call your DNA story, It's which is your ethnicity estimate. They just name it differently. Um, and this section is pretty normal to any ethnicity estimate. Shows a world map, highlights certain sections saying, hey, you're from these regions, and then lists those regions off to the side, such as your British, your West European, your um, Scottish Welsh, Native American, your I don't know, some parts of African, <laughs> uh, your Asian, or whatever. Um, what is different here on Ancestry is they actually do show migration patterns. They show you migration patterns that were popular throughout history that relate to what your ancestors have done and also what your ethnicity is. So if you live here in America and you had ancestors who were from the Scandinavian area, it would show you the migration pattern popular to the Scandinavians moving to America. Or if you had, or if you live in Africa and you had Scandinavian ancestors, it would show you the migration history of Scandinavians moving to Africa. Um, same with like the Spaniards moving to America. It just shows you those migration patterns throughout history that are related to your ethnicity. This is something that only Ancestry offers, and it is kind of fascinating to see the migration patterns for your ethnicity and also the migration patterns that your ancestors took. So it kind of helps you realize that even though you're American, you actually are from different countries because your ancestors originated from those countries, migrated um, all throughout the world. So those are the three types of DNA test results you get back. So all in all, we paid $74 for Ancestry for what I felt was a basic DNA test. A very complicated, but basic DNA test. Living DNA. Living DNA is probably a company you've never heard of. Um, I really didn't know much about them before doing this. Living DNA started off really rocky. It wasn't due to our fault or the company's fault. Um, we had happened to buy our test during the Black Friday sale. And due to the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas, our package somehow got lost in the mail. I kind of more blame the holidays than I do anything else. So we contacted the company after it didn't arrive at our es estimated delivery time. And they emailed us back saying it should have been delivered. We talked back a little bit and we both agreed, hey, the package was probably lost in the mail. And they sent us a replacement. It was super easy, super quick pain-free, no fighting with the company. It was great. Um, so we had that little rocky start. Once our replacement package came in the mail, um, we did DNA test, which is actually just a single swab test. So you just take the little swab, you swab the inside of your mouth cheek, and then you put it back in the test tube, you put it in a little tube, and you put it in the little envelope and you ship it back to the company. I much prefer cotton swab tests. They are a lot easier to take and a lot less gross than spinning in the tank. And then after we sent it off, eight weeks later we got our DNA test results back. Eight weeks may seem like a lot after I just told you Ancestries took theirs, theirs took six weeks, but this company actually says that their DNA test will take 10 to 12 weeks. So Eight weeks was pretty quick. <laughs> so Living DNA categorized their DNA test into three categories. Um, your family ancestry, which is your autosomal DNA. Your maternal line, which is your mitochondrial DNA. And if you're a male, then your fraternal line, or your Y chromosome DNA test. So family ancestry is where you see your ethnicity estimate results. I love this company's ethnicity estimate results. It may seem normal and just like everybody else's at first, 
with the typical map on the one side with highlighted regions and then on the side it lists those regions but what you can do which is really kind of cool is there's a little minus and a plus arrow above the list of your ethnicities and if you click the plus and then you click it again it will actually expand your ethnicity test results and so at first you may have four and then you click it and it will have like 20 then you'll click it again and you'll have like 50 and it's so cool that they break it down to these little itty bitty teeny tiny regions it's so much more in depth like their regions are so much smaller and so more in depth than any other company so if you don't think that's cool enough above the little plus and minus they have these three little categories what they call complete standard and cautious they are different ways of viewing your ethnicity results so complete is they have um, attempted to assign all the regions for your DNA ethnicity highlight um, standard is where they have highlighted the main source of your DNA ethnicity so cautious is where they have grouped similar genetic populations together. I love this because it does, does show how much this is just an estimate, but it also breaks it down into different ways of viewing your ethnicity, a more in-depth view or a more relaxed view or anything else in between. So I really, really love this and it was so fun to play around and explore. <laughs> so in the next section they categorize your DNA in is your maternal line or your mitochondrial DNA. I really love this company because they actually explain how you get your mitochondrial DNA, how they test for it, and they actually are the only DNA company that told us what our haplogroup was and our subclap group was. They also here explain the history of his subclap group and they also show a map of the world and show you where that subclub group is more populated in the world. Um, which also kind of helps verify that ethnicity estimate. Then they also explain the evolution of his haplo and subclub group. And then from that evolution of the subclub and haplo group, it shows you the migration pattern that his ancestors could have took. So the next section they do in the DNA testing is the fraternal line or your Y chromosome DNA testing. Only males can have a fraternal line DNA test result or a Y chromosome DNA test result. That's because us females have two X chromosomes where males have an X and a Y chromosome. This is what tells us what our gender is. So only males can test for this. The father line or the fraternal line is very similar to the mo mother's line or the maternal line. Whereas they explain what my husband's haplo and subclub group is. So they also tell you the history of his haplo group, his haplo and subclub group, um, where they're the most popular in the world, the evolution of his haplo and subclub group, and then the possible migration of his ancestors due to the haplo and subclub group. Overall, I, I really enjoyed Living DNA's test results. Um, they were clear, easily broken down. They didn't just assume what my husband's ethnicity was. They explained and gave options of what his, uh, what his ethnicity was. Um, it was a little disappointing that this company doesn't do a cousin comparison or DNA relatives. They don't compare your DNA test with others, which was a little disappointing. So we paid $99 for what I felt was a decent DNA test. Um, we got more than just the autosomal DNA test. We got the autosomal mitochondrial and Y chromosome DNA testing. My Heritage DNA. So My Heritage is another DNA company that's also a family tree company. So. I have played a little bit on their family tree and their source data center to find records for my ancestors. I um, haven't played with it a whole lot before doing this DNA test. So this is another company where you can connect your DNA to somebody on the family tree, to you on your family tree or whatever your case may be. So this DNA test had two swabs. 
one that you swab the inside of your left cheek and the other swab you swab the inside of your right cheek. Then you put them in two different vials. Then you put those vials in an envelope that came with the DNA kit and you ship it back to the company. And then five weeks later, we got our test results back. I believe with my heritage, they say it'll take like three to four weeks for you to get your test results back. But I'm wondering if they're going off of when they receive your DNA. Um, the little vials with the swab in it. So my heritage breaks down their DNA test results into two categories. The first category is your ethnicity estimate and the other category is your DNA matches. So the ethnicity estimate is pretty much the same like any other company. Once again you have a map on one side that has highlighted regions. Then on the other side it lists those regions and what percentage you are from those regions regions. So one of the little benefits that you can do with this company is underneath the map of your ethnicity estimate there's a little click box that you can click on that says show events from my family tree. Um, once you click on that it will actually pull up these little dots all over your family tree and you can click on those dots and see what events happened in those regions of the world. So you can click on the dot in England and it will say, oh, this ancestor and this ancestor got married and these ancestors were born here or died here. Um, so you can see what where events happened in your family tree and where they are in the world and then compare that to your ethnicity test results. So I thought that was kind of cool and fun. <laughs> Another th fun thing they have is they have a play intro above the ethnicity map. So if you click the play intro, it will play a video of your ethnicity estimate. The next section you can do with your DNA test results is the DNA matches. So here they list a bunch of people who you share DNA fragment with or DNA segments with. They'll tell you how much DNA you share with them. Um, and then their possible estimate relationships, so such as first cousin, second cousin, fifth cousin, removed however many times. So you can actually do a chromosome browser with them and see where you actually share DNA with them, which I think is really cool and fun. Um, love comparing um, DNA matches with my husband's DNA test results and be like, oh, they shared this much DNA together. They also allow you to share your info with others so you can see what surnames or relatives you have in common on your family tree. I love how this company tells you how much DNA you share with others. They give you a percentage, then they tell you a measuring unit of how much you share together, um, how many shared segments you have, and what's the largest shared segment, and then you can view the and then you can go to the chromosome browser and view that. So I, I just kind of love how they do that. Sharing your info with others and being able to see what surnames or ancestors you have in common with your DNA relatives or your DNA matches really helps with doing family history work. So I love that they have these features um, here on my heritage. So we paid $59 for a little more than what I would consider a basic DNA test. 23 and me. So 23andMe was the first DNA analyst company I had ever heard about. I heard it a long time ago, probably in the first few years of starting up. And I've waited a very long time to do a DNA test with this company. I was so excited that I had an opportunity and could justify to myself doing this DNA test. And that I finally got to do a DNA test with this company. And it was so worth the wait. So worth the wait. Their DNA test is a spit in a vial DNA test, which, like you guys know, I think these DNA tests are nasty. <laughs> but once again, you spit in a vial, you close off the vial, you put it in the package that came with your kit, and you send it back to the company. And seven and a half weeks later, our DNA test results came back. Um, with 23andMe, they say it'll take about six to eight weeks for you to get your test results back. So 23andMe breaks their DNA test results down into eight categories. Yes, I said eight categories. The first category is your ancestry composition or your ethnicity estimate. 
which is just like every other DNA test so far. Got a map that's highlighted on one side of the regions of your ethnicity, and then on the other side is a list of those regions. Then once you scroll down, they actually show you a ancestry timeline. So it shows you your ethnicities, then a year range of the last time that full ethnicity was in your family tree. So like the last time my husband had a full British ancestor was between the 1960s and the 1900s. The last time he had an ancestor that was full Finnish was between 1810 and 1720. This I thought was really, really cool just because I didn't know my husband had certain races in him and now I'm like, okay, the last time this full race was in his family tree was this time frame and I can go look back in his family tree and try to find that race in his family tree or fill in the blanks on his family tree to find that race. Then underneath that is a chromosome paint. So it's a chromosome chart that shows you where in your chromosomes or your DNA those ethnicity regions are. So it would say, so his test results came back saying and his first chromosome was mostly British or um, he didn't have any British ethnicity in his 14 and 15th chromosomes. So this was kind of cool to see where his ethnicity is in his chromosomes. Really cool, really fun. That's everything you can do in the ethnicity section. The next section is the maternal haplogroup section or your mother's line of DNA or the mitochondrial DNA test. So here they list what his haplogroup was, um, evolution of his haplogroup, the migration history of his haplogroup, how common his haplogroup is with other 23andMe customers, who was a famous person in history who had this similar haplogroup to my husband, so they possibly could be related. And then they they explain about the mitochondrial DNA, what it is, how they get it, what a haplogroup is, and pretty much everything scientifically, anything scientifically you need to know about your mitochondrial DNA and haplogroup. I really love how they break down the science of what they're doing and what your test results are. Um, they explain what your mitochondrial is and how they get it. And I thought that was really cool how they did that. And they broke it down so common Joe Smo on the street who knows nothing about DNA understands how they got this DNA test result and where it comes from. So I love that. Um, so the next section is your paternal haplogroup or your father's line of your haplogroup or your Y chromosome DNA testing. Once again only males will get this DNA test results. Only males have a Y chromosome. Um, this was pretty similar to the mother's line or the mitochondrial DNA test results. It explains what your haplogroup is, the evolution of your haplogroup, the migration history of your haplogroup, how common your haplogroup is with other 23andMe members, um, and then they also have the scientific breakdown of what the Y chromosome DNA testing is, why only males can test for the Y chromosome DNA testing is, what the paternal haplogroup is, and pretty much all the science you need to know behind this. They broke it down with pictures and charts and made it really super easy for somebody who knows nothing about DNA or science to understand. So the next section is your DNA family. So here they tell you how many cousins you have or DNA relatives you have. How many have that are first cousins or second cousins? How many are third or fourth cousins? Um, or fifth cousins and more. Below that they show you a map of the United States and they highlight each state with a gray to a dark blue and the dark blue showing how many relatives you have in that state. Um, so you can see how many other DNA relatives you have throughout the United States. There's also a world map and you can see on the world map how many DNA relatives you have around the world um, and how common they are in certain locations in the world or the United States. Below that they have a ethnicity chart showing 
what your ethnicity test results were and then comparing it to your DNA relatives and how many of them have similar ethnicities that you have. So like my husband has 375 other DNA relatives who are at least 1% British and Irish. He has 140 other DNA relatives who have at least 1% Native American in them. So this is kind of cool and fun to see. So this was kind of cool to see my husband's ethnicity compared to other DNA relatives ethnicity test results. Then underneath that is the super cool amazing awesome thing that my husband is so obsessed about. It is actually a list of things that due to like, due to the surveys you take here on 23andMe and the surveys that his DNA relatives have taken, it will tell him that my husband is less likely to be this or more unlikely to be that. Such as he's 38% less likely to think cilantro tastes like soap or he's 34% more likely to get jittery after drinking caffeinated drinks. really think this is cool and fun and I love how they not just give you a DNA test result but they also tell you who you could possibly be due to your DNA test results. Your DNA could have affected you and this section kind of helps you realize that. So next is your Neanderthal history. In the Neanderthal ancestry section, it will tell you how many Neanderthal variants are in your DNA. Um, and then compare that in a percentage compared to other 23andMe customers. Then underneath that, you can compare how many variants you have with family members and friends. Um, and then have a little competition between <laughs> you guys of how much Neanderthal you have in you. And then underneath that will show you how your Neanderthal variants um, could influence some of your DNA traits. Like you could have straight hair or less back hair, you could be tall, short, whatever. Um, but underneath that they show you a history and the evolution of Neander Neanderthals and the science behind it. So the next section is the DNA relatives. So here in the DNA relatives, it lists a bunch of people who share DNA with you. The list, um, the percentage of DNA you share, how many segments you have. And you can click on a person and compare your DNA test results with them. You can su see such things as what their ethnicity test result was compared to yours, what your um, haplogroups are, um, you can find other DNA relatives that you and that other person share. Then you can also do a chromosome comparison and see where in your chromosomes you share DNA together. This I think is really cool because instead of just breaking it down and be like, hey, you share this much DNA together and this is your common ancestor, they're like, hey, you shared this much DNA together, here's where they show you share DNA, here's what their haplogroup is compared to yours. Here's other cousins or DNA relatives you might have. Here's what your guys' two ethnicities look like and how they compare to one another. It kind of just breaks all their DNA tests down and this compares it with your whole entire DNA test. And it's so cool how you can compare the two and see how different but how similar you guys are to each other. Really love this section and love how they give you more options in this section than any other DNA company. So the next section is share and compare. Here's where you can invite and share your, invite others in your family tree or share your DNA with your mother, your father, your grandparents, your siblings, your kids, your cousins. Also even invite friends, um, which I think is really cool and something that no other DNA company has allowed. You can invite your friends and compare your DNA test results not with just DNA relatives or your immediate family, you can compare it with your friends. Which is so cool because to me, I would, I want to share my DNA test results with not just my family, but with my friends and neighbors and be like, hey look, let, this is what I have, what do you have in you? And then we can compare and do side, side, side by side comparison of what our DNA test results are. Love that they allow you to invite not just your family members, but your friends. And then the last section is the grand tree. Here it will show your DNA and compare it to your parents' DNA and your grandparents' DNA. And you can actually see 
what percentage of DNA that you got from your grandparents and your parents. I mean, obviously you get about 50 from your mother and 50 from your father. But there are some traits that stick out or are more prominent to being passed down than others. And you can see that and compare that here on the family tree, on the grand family tree. I don't know much about these last two sections, the grand tree and share and compare, just because my husband and I's parents and grandparents haven't done DNA testing yet. But I hope that they will in the future and I can play around and learn more. So I love how 23andMe has so much that you can do with your DNA test results. Um, I love how you can compare your DNA with your family members and friends. Um, no other company has done that yet. I love how for this company each section has a scientific detail section and you can click on the scientific detail and learn the science behind that DNA testing or those DNA test results. and. They actually break it down and explain it in a very easy manner that somebody who knows very little about science can understand what's going on. Um, so the only downside I have found with this company is that you cannot connect your DNA test to a family tree. I mean you can connect it to your parents and your grandparents but you cannot connect it to a larger family tree. So if you want to do genealogy work or figure out where you're connected on the family tree with somebody, you're going to have to go back to the paperwork and do it the hard old school way. Um, but that's the only downside I can think of right now. So we paid $49 for what I felt was a very detailed DNA test results. Um, we definitely got the most for our money's worth. <laughs> So now that I've briefly gone over every company and what they offer and what their test results are, so let's quickly recap all the facts. So with Ancestry, we paid $74 for our DNA test. Ancestry tests only your autosomal DNA. Um, currently, they have 151 regions. The way they collect your DNA is through a spit tank, a spit vial. Their wait time is, for us it was six weeks, they say it will take six to eight weeks. Currently you can only buy the test here in the United States, in the United Kingdom, or in Australia. Then the test results are grouped in three categories, your ethnicity estimate, your DNA matches, and DNA circle. Living DNA, we paid $99 for our test. They test your autosomal DNA, your mitochondrial DNA, and if you're a male, your Y chromosome DNA. Currently right now they have 80 regions for the ethnicity test results. How they collect your DNA is with a single swab test. We waited eight, re we waited eight weeks for our test result, um, but they say it will take 10 to 12 weeks. Currently right now they only sell to the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Europe, and Australia. And the test results are grouped into three categories. The three different ways to view your ethnicity, your mother's line, which is your mitochondrial DNA, and your father's line, which is, if you're a male, your Y chromosome. My heritage. So we paid $59 for our DNA test. Um, they only test the autosomal DNA. Um, they have 42 regions. How they collect your DNA is with a dual swab test. One swab for your right cheek, one swab for your left cheek. We waited five weeks for our DNA test results. They say online three to four weeks. But like I said earlier, I think it's from when they receive your DNA, not when you send the DNA back. So their website says that they sell worldwide. And your DNA test result comes back in two main groups, your ethnicity estimate and your DNA matches. 23andMe, we paid $49 for our DNA test. 23andMe tests your autosomal DNA, your mitochondrial DNA, and if you're a male, your Y chromosome DNA. They have 31 regions. How they collect your DNA is with a spit test, so you spit in that little vial and fill it up with your saliva. 
We waited seven and a half weeks for our test results, but they say you'll wait six to eight weeks. As of this moment, they currently sell to the US, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Switzerland, the Republic of Ireland, and the United Kingdom. And your DNA test results are grouped into eight categories. Your ancestry composition, which is your ethnicity estimate, your maternal haplogroup, which is your mitochondrial DNA, your paternal haplogroup, which is your Y chromosome DNA, your DNA family, your Neanderthal variants, your DNA relatives, share and compare the grand tree. So I hope this video was helpful and helped you make a decision on what DNA company you would want to go with and what would work best for your needs and wants. A reminder, if you want a more in-depth video on any of these four DNA companies, their links to their video are in the description box below. If you have any questions, um, please comment below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you all have a beautiful week. Bye!